we are going to show you how to cut a wedge out of um, a spindle, you know, so that you can put it on on a cabinet. You know, some of these spindles, there's uh, some great manufacturers out there that make uh, some fantastic spindles. And uh, you can watch some of our videos on how to make your own spindles uh, if you'd like as well. So, um, yeah, let's get, to, let's get to using spindles. So what we have here is we have uh, a jig that I made just for literally cutting a uh, spindle out of uh, our shooting cut and spindle on a table saw. And it's just a, a sliding tool with a with a clamp mechanism here, a hold down clamp that uh, will keep our spindle in place as we run it through the saw. So I'll uh, I'll go over quickly how we set up our saw and how we set up our jig. So what we have here is uh, just a simple jig for cutting for cutting uh, spindles. It's just the important thing is the backstop and then the hold down and then having some kind of groove cut inside your piece to hold that turned spindle. You know, you want to be able to hold it kind of in place. So this piece you'll see right here is literally just to hold our two pieces together because you have to run you know, a cut through there. So that's literally all that it's doing. So very simple jig. This one is uh, maybe 36 inches long by about 6 inches wide. And of course you can make them whatever, whatever length you, uh, you need to. So this jig, take our, take our spindle, we slide it into the jig, hold it up tight against the butt, and then take our hold down, box in place, and you're ready to rock and roll on the saw. So here we use, because we make one pass through here, we have a nice clean line within our tool, then we know you can use that as a reference point so you know exactly where your blade's gonna cut. So of course you wanna line up, you know, your spindle's gonna be centered in here. So we're gonna put that on our saw, we're gonna line it up correctly, and in my case it's about three inches. And then you're going to set the height of your blade to be at the center point of your spindle. And you should already have a center point in your spindle from where it was made on the lathe. So it should be fairly easy to index based off of that. And, you know, make multiple cuts if you have to. If you've got to make three or four cuts to set that thing just right to the center, um, do that because it's very important. You should just be able to run that bad boy through there. So it's really important. So you set the height of your blade, you set the width of your fence to your blade. The next thing that's really important is to mark the reference point on your blade as to where you want your blade to stop on the cut in your spindle, because we only want to go down so far. We don't have a big old cutout. You may want to go all the way through in, in uh, certain instances, but in this particular one, we want to stop at a certain point. So I'm going to mark a reference point right here on my saw that is going to be comparable to where I want the edge of the blade to stop right here. So now we'll cut our piece on the saw. I'm going to stop my blade pretty much right about here on this particular spindle. So. my spindle, I've rotated it 90 degrees, and if you're doing a laminated piece like I am, uh, go ahead and rotate it so that you cut the lamination line out. You might as well, it's not It's not going to be, you don't want to be seen, so just cut it. Alright, second cut on the saw after it's been rotated 90 degrees. <laughs> So I made my second cut, got my piece here, I've rotated it, you kind of see we have one, two cuts. You can see my practice cuts up here, not a big deal, we're going to cut all that stuff out. So yeah, next step is uh, how to router this bad boy out of there. Next step in the process of cutting out uh, a wedge in your spindle is to uh, bust out your trim router. And then I made just a, a little right angle jig, you know, very, very simple. I even cut it out with a bandsaw, I think. I didn't even spend a ton of time making it. But uh, just clamped it up with a quick, uh, quick grip. And um, it, so you got your router. You're going to set the depth to basically just engage the wood. It doesn't need to be, you know, you don't need to take out, you know, an eighth, uh, or excuse me, a quarter inch. Just take out a good eighth inch. Just make sure that, you know, everything is lined up good. So 
we made our first pass and um, you can see we're just trying to take out just a little bit of material here in that corner because our saw you know is always going to get us a good inch to uh, inch and a quarter away from our actual corner that we want to cut out so all we're doing is cut out i said probably about inch and a quarter by you know the remaining uh one inch of our of our spindle okay so i've cut out my uh, spindle my router and i'll show you that that part of my jig wasn't quite long enough. So actually what I did is I literally just cut a couple of shims, stuck them in there to elongate my tool just a tiny bit. So sometimes you gotta do that, it's part of the job. So, so yeah, our cut's finished. Take our jig off. Kinda see what we got left here. You can see all we really cut out was the section that the saw couldn't get to, okay? And you can see that I've got a little bit of a I went a little bit long on my part here, you know, not a big deal in this case, might be a big deal in your case. Um, so yeah, just kind of depends. This is a paint cabinet. Next, we go ahead and we'll take our, our piece out of our tool and see that we're kind of left with this piece that it's held on by just, just a scrap. Falls right out. So, anyhow, then we're going to be left with, there's a little bit of material in there, we can clean that up with a chisel. So yeah, here we are, here's our, our spindle. We cut the wedge out of it, so now we can actually attach it to our cabinet. So then just like that, we've got another one over here, making all kinds of these things. But yeah, this is a, this is a faux bamboo uh, turned light. So part of a faux bamboo furniture set, and uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So have fun.